Hello and welcome back. You can see this is... I finally have an actual CRT VGA monitor for my Dreamcast. And my old computer. But mostly for the Dreamcast right now. Now, before the old place we lived at, lived at we, I had this hooked up to my uh, flat panel TV. Which looked great, but wanted to get an actual CRT, especially because this way I can play light gun games. So I have this 21 inch flat screen CRT monitor and a Logitech 2.1 sir, or speak, a stereo speaker system. There's a subwoofer down there, you can't see it. There's a bunch of amiibos up here, which you can't see. And they're also now going to spill space down here because there's a bunch of space up down here. So, we're going to test it out. I've actually already played it before, but I'm going to, going to show it off with these 10 games I picked relatively at random. Because if I, wanted, if I played Shenmue, I'm pretty sure I would try and start the entire campaign, and that's... 20 hours, and I don't think my memory card's that big. So, first we're going to do Arrow Wings, Armada, Crazy Taxi 2, Daytona USA, Dead or Alive 2, Ferrari F355 Challenge, Passiona Rosa, Hydro Thunder, NHL 2K2, the very fir first game I ever reviewed on it. Vanishing Point, and a new release homebrew game, which will be last. Now, I'll probably put links either in the description or as annotations with timestamps for each of these games. But, first let's turn on the thing and make sure it actually works. First, we're going to turn on the speakers. You may have just heard the subwoofer. Okay. I probably have to reset the time. I need to mod this. You can apparently mod it so that you can put in like a, a better recharge, an easier rechargeable battery, but I haven't got, gotten around to that yet. I have had this game, this copy of Arrow Wings. This is going to be like a 35 minute video because, just because, I've had this copy of Arrow Wings for like 12 years now, at least. I actually bought it at a place called The Music Recycler, which doesn't exist anymore. And I moved like three times since. It was one of the games I got when I first got into the Dreamcast around 2003-2004. I don't think I have actually played it in like ten years. It just looks really, really, really pretty. And I wanted to do a flight simulator just because... Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to do a flight simulator, and I was going to do Air Force Delta, but apparently it does not work with this. And I don't have a copy of Arrow Wings 2. Uh, Only going to play a little bit with each of these games, but... Let's do training, because it has been a very long time, so I haven't even played this game whatsoever. Hello, I'm Maria, your air traffic controller. I'll be in charge of your training. First, I'll show you how to use your HUD heads up display. You can see the really crisp visuals right here. Then, you'll learn how to actually control the plane. And the stereo speakers are really nice, too. I actually had these hooked up to the TV before. I'll be guiding the plane for the first few minutes, so just sit back and listen. If you want to skip this tutorial, just press the start button. Let's go. This is the inside of the cockpit. Let's take a look at what's here. Yeah, let's get this tutorial. Use the A button to throttle up and accelerate. 
Use the B button to throttle down and decelerate. Use the analog control stick to raise and lower the nodes of the plane. And now it will start. Okay, I'll give you control over the plane so you can fly on your own. Don't worry, you can't crash in this mode. Well, that's important. That's useful. You can quit this exercise anytime by pressing the start button. to raise and lower the nose of the plane. You can control the plane's bank by moving the joystick left and right. Pressing the directional key left will raise or lower the landing gear. You can check the status of the landing gear on the HUD. Pushing the directional key right will engage or disengage the air brakes. The Y button turns smoke on or off. You can check whether smoke is on or off on the HUD. It's a smoke right here. The X button allows you to change your view. Pushing the directional keys up and down puts the flaps up and down. The plane's rudder is controlled with the R and L triggers. The rudder is used for making minute adjustments. Also, when taxiing, you can turn right or left by pulling the R and L triggers respectively. By pulling the R and L triggers together, you can turn on the landing gear brakes. I have zero idea of my... Use the A button to throttle up and accelerate. Use the B button to throttle down and decelerate. Use the analog control stick to raise and lower the nose of the plane. You can control the plane's bank by moving the joystick left and right. Pressing the directional key left will raise or lower the landing gear. You can check the status of the landing gear on the HUD. Pushing the directional key right will engage or disengage the air brake. The Y button turns smoke on or off. You can check whether smoke is on or off on the HUD. The X button allows you to change your view. Pushing the directional keys up and down puts the flaps up and down. The rudder is controlled with the R and L triggers. The rudder is used for making minute adjustments. Yeah, yeah, the rudder doesn't really do much, does it? Also, when taxiing, you can turn right or left by pulling the R and L triggers respectively. By pulling the R and L triggers together, you can turn on the landing gear brakes. Fantastic. Just want to land so I can go by, go to the to the space the space game. Just telling me the same ten Use things over and over again. Stick to raise and lower the nose of the plane. You can control the plane's bank by moving the joystick left and right. Pressing the directional key left will raise or lower the landing gear. You can check the status of the landing gear on the HUD. Pushing the directional key right will engage or disengage the air brakes. The Y button turns smoke on or off. You can check whether smoke... Okay, I'm just going to quit this because it's kind of annoying. Okay. So... Next up we're going to do Armada, which is, you know, a real, if a regular playing game looks good, a space playing game should look even better. Pretty sure I bought this one off eBay. Relatively certain this copy works. 
it doesn't then it gets skipped and You're still recording, right? Yes, yes we are. Is strange, but okay. killed something. It's almost as if it's like inverted. Actually, no, I think that... I think pr okay, pressing the d the analog stick actually controls which direction you go, but it's relative to the to the screen and not to the ship itself. So if I were going down and I press the right side, that you would think that would make you go like left because that's relative. To whatever, I'm just bullshitting at this point. I thought this was a 3D space game, so we're just gonna. Oh, that's one of those softer sets, isn't it? Yeah, there we are. Okay, so still, you know, it looks an awful lot better than it probably would have to CRT. Unfortunately, I can't. I still can't record VGA, so I'm. When I do Dreamcast reviews, it's still going to be reviewed with using composite. That's just... It's, the only decent way is to get, like, uh, VGA to either component or, or HDMI scaler. I don't have one of those right now. Plus, I don't know if there are any that have pass-throughs to this. So, we're going to play some crazy taxi... I'm probably going to have, I want to turn the speakers off for right now just because I don't want to get dinged with copyright music. Yeah, 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 whatever. All the way off. Um, I'll play around with the normal rules and small apple. Go ahead and pick a car and driver. Ice man. Ice man is done. Okay, let's kick it. I don't know why I don't why I don't know why Japanese games love telling you people's blood type. It's so strange. So the blood types. Full honesty, I'm not very good at Crazy Taxi, so... So I'm probably, this is probably only going to last like two minutes. As I said, very bad at Crazy Taxi. Honey, you 
You've got great skills. Come on, take me to the Let's church. Let's go. The one point seven kilometers isn't really that far. It's like less. It's like half a mile. We should totally do let's plays. Everyone would love to see that. I forgot you can jump in this game. So, yeah, Crazy Taxi looks pretty damn good.